Now today we will be seeing how can we solve exponential equations using logarithms because we have been talking about logarithms, we talked about its definition, we talked about properties, expanding, condensing, but now we're going to see why are they useful. So the main idea here is that we can use the properties of logarithms to solve exponential equations where you're, the variable that you're looking for it's on your exponent. So that's the main idea here. Let's get started. Now, this is what we mean by exponential equations. Well, notice that here, they're asking us to solve, solve each equation, and we need to round our answers to the nearest hundred. Good. So now in the first example here, we want to solve for B. B is in your exponent. We have seen methods of the same base method where we try to write the left and the right as the same base. Here, we cannot rewrite the 17 as base 3, because remember, when you have the same base, they will cancel out, and you will set the exponents equal to each other. So we cannot really do that. But when we have the exponent that we're looking for, as the variable that you want to solve for, we use logarithms to solve. So now, how do we do that? Well, let's look at the first example here. Let's make some space here. Now, again, we're going to be using the rule of logarithms to solve exponential equations. So the first thing that there, there's some steps. And the first thing that you want to do is make sure that the term that has the variable on it, it's isolated, which in this case it is. We're not adding or multiplying anything next to it. So that's good. Now, the second step is the actual procedure, which is when you have an exponent and you want to solve for that exponent, one easy thing to do is just multiply log to both sides. You are allowed to do that. So now this becomes log of 3b is equal to the log of 17. Now, why do we do this? Because now that we have it into this form, you got to remember that there's a rule of exponent that says that if you have a variable, you can bring it to the front. So now this becomes b times log of 3, that being equal to log of 17. You got to remember that here what we're looking for is we want to solve for b, so you need to divide by log of three to both sides. So now that says that B, let's rewrite that B. So B is equal to log of 17 divided by the log of three. Now that we have into this form, we want to find out what is the value of this expression. And for that, we use our calculator. So here we well log, it's located right here underneath the x squared. So we're going to have log of 17 divided by log of three. So that says that our final answer Let's just write it here. So it says that B holds a value of 2.57. Well, I mean, it's 57.8. We want it to the nearest 100. So that's two places. So that becomes an 8. 2.58. And this is our final answer. Now, this has nothing to do with the problem, but just some clarifications. When you use log on your calculator, it is always going to be using base 10. So when I write log, this is the same as if I just write log base 10. Your calculator uses log of base 10. And this is just something to consider in future problems. So now let's look at the next problem now. 
again, the first step that you should do is make sure the term that you want to look for is isolated here. I see that the 18 is the one that has the exponent, not the five. So I need to get rid of this five. This five is multiplying. So you want to get rid of it due to the opposite, which is division. So let's divide five to both sides. So now this becomes 18, six X divided by 20. Well, let's find what that is. What is that? 26 divided by five. So that becomes 5.2. So this is what we have now. Notice here that the 18 that has the exponent, it's alone now. So we can apply the rule that we just learned, which is you can multiply the log to both sides. So now we have 18. We have the log of 18, 6 of x equals to the log of 5.2. Because of the rule of exponents, we can bring this exponent to the front. So now this becomes 6x log of 18, I'm sorry, log of 18 equals the log of phi 2. Okay, excellent. Here we want to solve for the x. Notice that here, we have six times x times the log of 18. So if you want to solve for x, you need to divide six to both sides because that way the six will cancel out. And you also need to divide by log of 18. So this cancels out and now we have the x alone. So that means that x is equal to the log of this big expression here. Now, how do we find the numerical value? Well, we use our calculator. So let's do that. Notice that on the bottom, we have more than one term. So in order to avoid any confusion, I'm gonna put an extra parenthesis. So we have log of 5.2. This is the numerator divided by, I'm going to open a big parenthesis on the bottom because I have more than one expression here. So we have six log of 18. This first parenthesis, oops, this first parenthesis closes the log. The second parenthesis is going to close with the first parenthesis that I put here. So now this is our final answer. So that means that x is equal to 0 0.09. That's fine. Two numerical places. Let's look at our last example here. Again, your first step is, well, do I need to isolate? Yes. Here, notice that n is what we're looking for. n is located on the 9. 3 does not have anything with the exponent that we want to start looking for. So we need to get rid of this three. We want to isolate the expression that has the variable that we're looking for. So now this becomes n10. And this becomes 78. So now that we have the nine isolated. So what do we do? We can multiply log to both sides. Because once we do that, then we have log of 9 and plus 10 is equal to the log of 78. Now that we have an exponent here, we can bring this to the front. So now this becomes, this is a big exp expression. So we're going to have n plus 10 parenthesis log of 9 equals log 78. So now what do we do here? Notice that this was a big 
exponent. So that's why I put it in parentheses. You want to solve for n. So first, I need to divide by log of 9. Because if I do that, we're going to have the following. Well, let me bring the calculator to the bottom because we're going to need that space. So now here we have, if we divide log of 9, now we're going to have n plus 10 equals to log of 78 divided by the log of 9. First, you need to divide by the log of 9 because you want to solve for n. You cannot just subtract the 10 right here because first you need to get rid of this log of 9. So if we first get rid of the log and now we can subtract the 10. So at the end, we have n is equal to this big expression And then whatever that is, we're going to take away 10. So let's find our, let's use our calculator now. So let's see, log of 78 divided by the log of 9. So we have this, 1.98, and we still need to take away 10, so minus 10. So we see that our final answer is that n holds a value of negative 8.002. So before we finish, I want to talk about special case. Because notice that here, if it was just regular number, we multiply log to both sides. There will be times where you will encounter expressions which we're going to have a letter E. That letter E is called the Euler number. Now, we are going to apply the same idea here, but we're just going to do something slightly different. We're not going to multiply by log, but we're going to multiply by something different. And that is that is called the natural log. Oh, let's change the color here. That is called the natural log. Because notice that at the beginning of the video, I said that log has base 10. The natural log has base E. And the natural log is written as ln. So ln it's the same as ln base e. So if you're solving for expressions here, or equations, I should say, and you have a base e, and you have an e on it, that's a clear indicator that we're not going to multiply by log, but we're going to multiply by this new function that we just introduced, which is called the natural log, which we write as ln. But the procedures still remain the same. So notice here in example four, we have an E. So we know that I need to use the natural log somewhere. Where? Well, first you need to isolate the E. So let's add that five. So now we have E x minus one, that's equal to 10. So on our previous video, we were multiplying by log to both sides on the previous slide, I'm sorry. Here, because we have an E, we're going to multiply it by the natural log, ln of E. So now we have ln of E x minus 1 equals ln of 10. Now, what have, why do we multiply it by ln? Because ln has base E. And anytime your base is equal to what's inside the parentheses, they will simply just cancel out. So now we have x minus 1. So we can apply the same rule again. Like we can find what ln of 10 is. Oh, 
well, let's see, log of 10, that's equal to 1. Why? Because, again, LNs, has, they have base 10. And when your base is equal to what's inside the parentheses, they become a 1. So now this becomes 1. And then you want to solve for x, well, just add 1. So now it becomes that x is equal to 2. Lastly, let's look at example 5. In example 5, again, you first want to isolate the e. So what we should do first here is let's divide by 6 here. So now we have e 5x minus 6. That is equal to 50 divided by 6. So let's just round to 8.3. So go to 8.3. Now that we have ln, I know that I need to multiply, not log, but the natural log to both sides. So now we have, well, now what we have here is ln base e, 5x minus 6 equals ln 8.3. Just like we explained, ln has base e. Here the e's will cancel out. So now what we have here is just a simple expression. 5x minus 6 is equal to ln, we got the parentheses here, ln 8.3. So here it just becomes an algebra one problem just with this ln. So you want to solve for x first, you should add 6. So now this becomes 5x equals to the following. And lastly, you want to divide it by 5. So that says that x. has a value of ln of a3 plus 6 divided by 5. This might look complicated, but we can use our calculator here. Let's find out what the numerator is, and then we we're just going to divide it by 5 after that. So ln, it's located right here, right underneath the log. So we have ln of, oops, so ln of a3. I'm going to add 6 to that. So now all this, we still need to divide by 5. So that means that our final answer, x is equal to 1.62. So now, here's your entrance ticket. Try to solve the following. 